There we go. Just fishing this river and another river this morning. Might transition to crappy fishing if this isn't so great. Both the rivers are pretty flooded and I'm uh, just burning a black fury for now between the seam between these two rivers as they meet. A tiny smallie started off. That seam has like the only slack water all the way down so I don't know if this is going to be so great. They're really shy to bucktail jigs today so I was killing them on them in this run. I probably got over 50 fish last trip just out of this run alone. So. I think they're a little shy still. It was only a couple days ago. There we go. Awesome. I thought that might be a little better. I hit this whole spot with Black Fury and a bucktail, but that really didn't do much for me. Oh, this is a pretty good fish. Wow. Oh yeah, this is definitely a good fish. <laughs> didn't seem that strong at first, but I, so I started uh, jigging uh, Bass Pro Shops XPS, like a lipless crankbait type thing, like a rattle trap sort of. Um, and, uh, yeah, this guy's pulling so hard he might pop. Has to be a good, uh, he has to have a good hook in him for this to work. Could be a carp even, or a muskie. This is a big fish. Didn't feel that big at first. Felt like a decent smallie, you know, but he wasn't fighting, that's why. Didn't realize where I was. Okay, I gotta chase him. He's gonna spool me. Yeah, for sure. This is a guy I gotta chase. I gotta be careful though, because it gets really deep right here and the river's still flooded. This is a big fish. If this is a smallie, it's a, it's <laughs> solid mid-20s, I'd say. Oh, did he, I think he dropped it. Yeah, he dropped it, shoot. I don't know how he popped. Maybe I snagged a carp or something? I should have had a good hook in him. Come on, 26 inch walleye. <laughs> Come on, baby. There we go. Awesome. Slow rolling that same XPS, little smallie. It's got a really loud rattle in it. That's why I had some some confidence in it in these muddy water conditions. Rattle trap type baits usually produce pretty well in them as long as the fish are aggressive and feeding. Yeah, it's a baby. Two casts in a row. That's a little better one, for sure. That looks like a good one. Don't pop, baby, you're a good one. You could be 18 plus, but that might be a bad guess. Definitely at least 16, I'd say, from just seeing them jump. Yeah, decent. Oh, that's always awkward. 16, 17-ish. Not a big one, but Okay one, probably a 16, right on there, maybe 16 and a half, kind of thin. Knew it. Smart little bass. <laughs> I called it, man.
came up to this new spot on, on a different river basically there's a drop off right here sometimes it stacks with smallies but um i got a hit on an eighth ounce brown and yellow right away so i knew there was a fish here but i figured if i scaled down to this little black micro jig that i tied out of chicken feathers i could get them all right a couple more there we go another little guy <laughs> So light pulls up when I set the hook on him. Yeah, stacked with a few tiny ones today. Nothing big at all. Nothing pushing 20, unfortunately. There we go. Second cast. Got a small fish on. A uh, sixteenth ounce yellow and brown bucktail jig. Decent walleye. Keeper sized. Sweet. With a floral leader too. Um, I'm just gonna go up and down the river, hitting different pools I know, um, trying to find where the fish are. Probably a sixteen incher. Solid one. And uh, I'm going to throw that, that XPS a little bit and uh, these bucktail jigs. I'm going to twitch them. And I might try a Rebel Craw too since the XPS is working. There's a little bass. <laughs> Finally. A little action on the Rebel Craw. Just hunting for a trophy. Wow. I wish I got that in film. <laughs> Came down to this new spot, started twitching a brown and yellow bucktail jig. Big smolly tuck. It might have been 18 plus just by the head because it came out of the water. The jig popped. Came it shot back. Right when it jumped out of the water, it popped and it shot back and it hit right on the reel and smacked it really hard. I got lined all over me. <laughs> there we go. Little bass on. I worked this pool super hard with uh, the XPS and uh, uh, bucktail jigs. Right at the start, second cast, I had a good hit. There we go. Back at that first spot, I got a Rebel Craw now too though. Got three poles I'm juggling um, out in this current. A little small on. I'm just casting the Rebel, Rebel Craw, Craw like perpendicular and as it drifts downstream, I'm working it against the current. Yeah, 11, 12, probably a 12 incher, small guy. Oh, got something on the drop. I'm jigging a Two inch chartreuse jig, six, one sixteenth ounce. Trying to find the crappie, but accidentally got a walleye. Looks like what everyone else is looking for up here. I heard the crappie are making a run somewhere. That someone got a limit of them, but that's just hearsay. So who knows? There we go. Got it really close to that tree there. Looks like I got exactly what I'm looking for. Nice little crappie. <laughs> awesome. It's definitely a keeper size one. That's a 10 incher for sure. Nice white crappie. I switched uh, the 2 inch chartreuse to black because I ran out of chartreuse, but it worked anyway, so awesome. I didn't really jig it last time. Yep, see, there he is. I just let it fall. Oh, if that's a crappie, that's a nice one. It's probably a bass. Or 
or something. Something. That might be a. Oh, I got a bullhead on a jig. Are you kidding? It's not the first time I've done that, but it's, it hasn't happened much for me. Bullhead on a on that same exact jig. It's a nice bullhead too. Solid 16, maybe even 16 and a just a hair over 16 probably. I would guess. I'll show you what I I, I really did get them on this jig. The same jig I just got that crappie on. That crappie I, I measured him and threw him back. He was just under 11. Yeah, solid bullhead. Yep. Isn't that a little guy. A brown and yellow bucktail jig. Just twitching it. Yeah, probably a 15, 15 and a quarter. Okay. Yeah, a little walleye. Walleye or eye? Little walleye. Walleye. Yeah. Yeah. 15, 16. Twitching that same jig. Brown and yellow. One eighth ounce. On a floral leader. Oh, that's a better walleye. And they turned on hard. Yeah. That's what everyone's looking for down here. That's right around keeper size, right around 18. Not keeping anything today, but it's awesome. That same bucktail jig. Another walleye. On the brown and white again. Yeah, small guy. This is a pretty steady walleye bite. I think it's because the water's up just a little bit. A little bit discolored. Some more fish moved up. Even though this place is being hammered every single day. They're turning back on. Yep. Walleyes are turning back on. Sunset bite. The brown and yellow bucktail jig. Another 15 inch or so. <laughs> Tiny bass. Oh man. Yeah, very little smally on the bucktail jig. Sweet. I just plan on uh, keeping walleye fishing until after dark a little bit. Just searching for a big one again. Upper 20s plus. Don't expect it to happen, but it's not going to happen if I don't try. Yeah, another little guy. 15 or so. Kind of torn up. Got like sores or something on him. Another walleye, around the same size, 15, 16, and that same bucktail jig.